So we've seen how light can refract when it moves from a substance such as air into a more dense transparent substance such as glass. Its speed slows down and its wavelength will get shorter. Its frequency remains the same and if it comes in at an angle which is not 90 degrees it will change direction. Now in this case we've got a laser that's shining light into a glass block and this is a semicircular glass block so the laser is always coming in at 90 degrees here. Now the light inside the glass block has slowed down but it hasn't changed direction because it's come in on the normal line. Now the area of interest is over here. Here's the the ray which is about to try and escape the glass block and so the angle between that ray and the normal line which you can just see as this 90 degree line from the surface that's called the angle of incidence and in a moment we're going to start rotating this glass block and you'll see how what effect that has on the refracted ray but at the moment we can see that the refracted ray has bent a little bit because it has speeded up it has bent away from the normal as it's escaped. So let's get this moving and you can see that we're rotating this glass block now and we're increasing the angle of incidence between the incoming ray, the incident ray and the normal line. And as we increase that angle of incidence the angle of refraction between the refracted ray and the normal is increasing even more. And there'll come a point where this refracted ray is skimming the boundary. It will happen just in a moment. So just there, perhaps a, a little bit further, just there. You can see that we've got some internal reflection going on at this point here, but that some of the ray is escaping and managing to go along the boundary nearly at 90 degree mark here. Now the angle of incidence at this point is called the critical angle and the critical angle is the angle of incidence of a light ray in a transparent substance which produces refraction along the boundary. If the angle of incidence is increased any more than this critical angle then we will get total internal reflection and we won't have any of the light being able to escape. It'll just be totally reflected at that boundary and this is used in many uh, applications because it's a very very high quality reflection from binoculars through to periscopes, any optical device where we need a good reflection. So let's take a look at a relationship between the angle of incidence and the refractive index of the material remember the refractive index is telling us um, how, how fast the ray travels in the substance compared to in air or in a vacuum. So the critical angle is related to the refractive index of a transparent material by the equation n for the refractive index, so that's n, equals 1 over the sine of the critical angle. So what is the critical angle for glass which has a refractive index of 1.4? We're going to need to do a little bit of maths just to work out the critical angle C. Let's do that. So first of all let's just write down what we know. So we know that N is equal to 1.4. It doesn't have any units because it's just an index, a ratio. We are trying to find C and that will come out in degrees. So there's our list, our data list. Let's use the equation n equals 1 over sine C and now let's put the numbers in. So we've got 1.4 is equal to 1 over sine C. We need to rearrange this a little bit. Let's multiply both sides by sine c. So we get 1.4 sine c equals 1. And let's divide both sides by 
1.4 so that we can try and get C as the subject or nearly. So that'll be sine C equals 1 over 1.4 and now we've got to get this angle out of the trigonometry function sine and we can do that by using the inverse of sine. So we can write C is the inverse sort of sine in reverse if you like of 1 over 1.4 and pop that into a calculator and we get inverse sine 1 over 1.4 gives us 45.6 degrees and we'll do that that's just a one decimal place rounded to one decimal place of accuracy so 45.6 is the critical angle of this particular type of glass and it's usually about 40-ish to 45 degrees for glass and so that's the angle at which we will get a light ray just skimming as we come in here so here's our normal and here's the angle of incidence it's the angle at which the light ray will just skim along the boundary we will get some internal reflection but if I that's I equals C if the incident angle is greater than the critical angle then we get total internal reflection and we no longer have that skimming along the boundary.